This is National Native News. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. Stronghearts Native Helpline launched a new online chat function this week to better assist Native American and Alaska Native people experiencing abuse. Christine Trudeau reports the expansion of services as part of a long-term goal. Back in March, as COVID-19 safety restrictions amped up across Indian country, Stronghearts Native Helpline saw a dip in their calls that has continued through May. Director Lori Jump says that may be due to survivors sheltering in place at home with an abusive partner, making making it all the more difficult to make a phone call when help is needed. You know, it's much easier to send a chat message because it's a silent form of communication, right? And so you're not having to worry about somebody overhearing you on the phone. In addition to their phone support line 18447 native, the chat icon can be found on their website at strongheartshelpline.org. Support advocates are available with educational resources, referrals to local programming for callers for ongoing support, and safety planning. You know, talk to people about how they can stay safe, especially during this time of pandemic when, you know, we are sheltering in place and We are facing so much more stress and uncertainty. And while we know those things don't cause domestic violence, it does exacerbate the situation, which allows for an increase in violence to occur. Phone services are available daily from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time and via chat daily from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Central. I'm Christine Trudeau. This story is a collaboration with National Native News and the Solutions Journalism Network. In Rapid City, South Dakota, the Oyate Health Center takes precautions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. But the center has reported more than 30 positive cases since early May. As an act to honor frontline workers, a new mural is on display as China Locket reports. The colorful banner shows a bear surrounded by sage with a buffalo skull. Bear Butte and the Black Hills are in the background. Derek or Focus Smith is a local muralist who repurposed his materials to create the piece. There are Lakota words at the top. It's Wakaya Mayanipi Cha Filamiapi. Thank you for walking in a sacred way. Smith wants the piece to be encouraging. He says the bear is the perfect representation of resilience during the pandemic. The animal is considered a healer in some Native cultures. You hear stories about, you know, the bear being the natural doctor, or the doctor out in nature digging up roots and, and digging up medicines and digging up food. The symbology that he also encapsulates, you know, he has a great power that he has to carry with discernment. If he doesn't do these things uh, in the way that he's supposed to, then you know, it can make him reckless. Smith says it's a thank you to healthcare workers and community volunteers who work together to help each other stay safe. Thank you for taking that time and that effort to put yourself in that position and, again, to, to walk in a sacred way because it takes a lot of courage and a lot of confidence to place yourself in the way of that to help others. Smith says the banner can be reused and relocated for support during trying times in the community. I'm Chenna Lockett in Rapid City. The Interior Department is extending the public comment period on development around Chaco Canyon. After a meeting with tribal leaders in New Mexico this week, Interior Secretary David Bernhardt indicated he would extend the deadline by 120 days as tribes deal with COVID-19. A number of tribes in the southwest are fighting for protection of the area, which they hold sacred. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. National Native News is produced by Kiwanak Broadcast Corporation with funding by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. It's the circle of life that teaches us to take care of each other, to use our voice when we are in need. Like the circle of life, there is an opportunity that comes around every 10 years, a chance to participate and let others know who we are and where we are. The 2020 Census will be our opportunity to shape our future for generations to come. Shape our future. Start here. Learn more at 2020census.gov. Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Network.